I am here to introduce two courses under Skill Enhancement courses. Uh, under Skill Enhancement course, Department of Botany is going to have two courses. Semester one there will be Gardening Basics and Semester two it will be Gardening Advanced. Under Gardening Basics, the course will be completely based on practicals, where hands-on trainings will be an important aspect. Gardening is a hobby of many people and having a pleasant garden either at home or around is a dream of everyone. Basic scientific knowledge of gardens with respect to soil, tools, pots, plantation, propagation methods, decision pest control, etc. always makes a qualitative difference. Under this course, the major topics will be garden tools or implements, soil, alternate media, composts and fertilizers, potting reporting techniques and preparation of soil beds, seeds and propagules which are used for plantation, vegetative propagation techniques like cutting, grafting, budding and layering, as well as disease and pest management. These are some representative images talking about various aspects of the garden, right from pots and plant plants to the techniques like grafting, budding, layering which becomes a very much crux of the basic course on gardening. From this course, the expected benefits to the learner are like they will become more familiar with the tools which are used in the garden for various operations. They will be having better understanding of the requirements of plants with respect to soil compost, fertilizers, watering etc. Scientific knowledge of potting, reporting and plantation techniques. Acquiring hands-on skills of plant propagation through practices like cutting, budding, grafting, layering, etc. The students can develop their own ornamental or the kitchen gardens, maybe at individual level or community level. Under semester 2, gardening will be reaching to its advanced state. Again, it will be completely practical based course where the hands-on training will be given to the students. On the basis of knowledge which students acquired under garden basics, they will be better in position to perform advanced gardening techniques. In this course, the students will actually get experience of preparation of small fascinating models of the indoor gardens like terrarium, hanging baskets, dish gardens, bonsai, hydroponics, vertical garden as well as balcony gardens. The major topics in this course are like special categories of garden plants right from indoor to outdoor, native to exotic, flowering plants to foliage plants and jeric plants as well as aquatic plants. Pot gardens, under pot gardens there will be gardens like terrarium, dish gardens, hanging baskets, bonsai etc. Hydroponics which is a soilless cultivation technique will be one of the important highlights of this course. Preparing a plan of kitchen garden under feasible areas, under feasible situation will be possible through this course. The concept of vertical garden, preparation of lawns are some additional topics from this course. Under this course, the students will be getting opportunity to visit the public urban gardens, botanical gardens, butterfly gardens and nakshatra udyan. Some of these gardens come under theme based parks or the theme based gardens. These are some representative images. The last image which talks about vertical garden is the need of time, especially in the urban area where space has become a limiting factor. With knowledge of advanced gardening, students can prepare such kind of vertical gardens at whatever place available. From this course, the expected benefits are Students will acquire knowledge about various categories of the ornamental plants in better manner which are mentioned in the course and they will be able to deal with these plants effectively when they are used in the gardening. Students will acquire hands-on skills of advanced gardening. Students can prepare different types of pot gardens on their own as well as the students will be having exposure to the professional opportunities in the field of urban gardening. Thank you. Hello friends and on behalf of the Department of Chemistry Wilson College this is Dr. Ashish Uzgare welcoming you all. Friends, 
I want to introduce to you the Department of Chemistry, which is one of the oldest science department under the University of Mumbai. Established in 1887, this 137-year-old department boasts of 17 faculty members, out of which 11 are PhD holders, all 17 are NETSET qualified, and four are research guides. The Department of Chemistry is a recognized center for PhD, having four research guides, and currently 11 students are pursuing their research under their guidance. The department is a perfect amalgamation of senior experienced and young enthusiastic staff members. So my dear freshers joining the first year in Wilson College, are you excited to know about this department and what it is going to offer to you students who are going to be the pioneers of the NEP 2020? Friends, now we will get some knowledge about the SEC and that is the Skill Enhancement Course. This is for all those students belonging to science stream who have taken chemistry as one of the subject. In SEC, the Department of Chemistry is offering you basic analytical chemistry, which is entirely a practical course. This course would be conducted two hours twice a week, which will fetch you two credits and the evaluation would be a semester end practical examination. The basic of analytical chemistry will help the students to understand what is analytical chemistry, what is present, how much is present, qualitative and quantitative analysis. This course will give you hands-on training on various different instruments and techniques. Techniques like thin layer chromatography and spectrophotometric analysis would be taught to you. The students will undertake analysis of soil, air, water and also very interestingly food adulterants would be identified and if possible quantified as well. The beauty of this course is this will enhance the skills of the learners because they'll be handling instruments and therefore the students will be able to understand analytical chemistry by performing hands-on training. They'll get equipped with the classical and the instrumental methods of analysis. The students will enhance their scientific temper and will increase their experience about analyzing various different samples. It is not only going to be qualitative, but quantitative as well. So, in order to see to it that you have a very good practical hand, basics of analytical chemistry is your SEC. Dear friends, let us see what will be the students of chemistry learning in semester two under the skill enhancement course. Like the first semester, this course will be entirely a practical course that would be conducted twice a week, two hours each, that will help the learner fetch two credits and at the end of the semester, there would be a practical examination of 60 marks. What is it that the students, those who have opted for chemistry, would learn under the skill enhancement course? Friends, first thing, you would be able to identify the hazardous chemicals and also would learn the precautions while handling them. As this course is designed to improve your skills, you would be given exposure to different instruments and techniques. Instruments like pH meter, conductometer, potentiometer. The students will also be taught in synthesizing certain organic compounds. Also, certain purification techniques would be taught to the students. For example, when you are going to purify solids, what are the techniques that you would employ? Sublimation, crystallization, 
fractional crystallization. When you need to purify liquid compound, how is it that you are going to achieve? By distillation, fractional distillation, steam distillation. What do you mean by azeotropic distillation? And also, the student would be taught about the technique of chromatography. The students would perform paper chromatography. Friends, this particular course will enhance your skills in handling laboratory chemicals, laboratory instruments, and would make your life and experience in the chemistry lab an enjoyable one. What is it that has made this course so very interesting? Knowing what are its learning objective. The first objective of this practical course is to train the students about different hazardous and non-hazardous chemicals to identify them and how to handle them. To understand the technique of purification. The objective is to develop the scientific temper and also to enhance the research-based skills. The other objective is to differentiate between organic and green synthesis. And last, to give an idea about qualitative and quantitative analysis. What is it that the students will learn after the course? The students will develop a practical hand in synthesis. They would be able to understand the importance and different safety concerns while dealing with different chemicals. The students would be able to identify different apparatus and instruments in the laboratory and more appropriately, the students will gain an experience in performing volumetric titration. This is about the Skill Enhancement course in Semester 2. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Surekta Demelo from Department of Mathematics. Today we will be introducing you to the topics of Skill Enhancement courses offered by the department. So, in skill enhancement courses for the first semester, we are offering introduction to R and in the second semester, we are offering introduction to Scilab. Now, we will see what are the prerequisites for both the courses for semester 1 and 2. Basically, there are no prerequisites required for the course as any 10 plus 2 candidate can easily learn about these two courses. Let us see what are the advantages of R. R is a programming language. It is a very important and effective tool used in analytics, that is data analysis and data science. Currently, this has been a very wanted or uh, demanded course going on in various colleges and institutions. So, we will begin with the basics of R, which will help us in learning about machine learning, artificial neural network development and analysis which is indirectly used in data science, artificial intelligence, biology, business intelligence, genetics, etc. Opportunities are offered by companies like IBM, Facebook and in other banks in various sectors also for students having knowledge about R programming. Now let us see what Scilab helps us in. It is used in signal processing, statistical analysis, image enhancement, fluid dynamics simulations. It offers us opportunities to work in companies like Renault, SLR-Mittal, Estrium, CETE, Dassault Aviation, etc. Let us see what are the contents of R programming. We will basically learn how to use the softwares of R and Scilab while learning about this subject. This will help us learn basics of mathematical operators and operations, also functions that can be used and developed in R and Scilab. We will be plotting 2D and 3D graphs to visualize data given to us which indirectly help us learn skills for data analysis, data science and artificial intelligence. Thank you. Dear students, a warm welcome to the Department of Microbiology. I am here to give you an idea about skill enhancement courses offered by the department. For the semester one, the skill enhancement course offered by our department is introduction to basic laboratory techniques and biosafety processes in diagnostics. To give you an idea about this course, 
as a microbiology students of major or minor courses you will be learning a variety of experiments in the laboratory and for that you need to handle a variety of apparatus different types of instruments and one needs to know how to handle these instruments or how to handle the glassware so all this will be taught in this course besides this a very important aspect of analytical and microbiological laboratories is to write the standard operating procedures for laboratory instruments that's an important skill we are trying to imbibe that skill as well and these are various instruments for which quality control can be carried out as a microbiologist so one has to know the knowledge of that and that also will be taught in these courses as a microbiologist you need to learn preparation of various reagents and that also can be covered in this course and besides all this besides handling of all these processes on the laboratory it's very important fact in the microbiology laboratories what kind of safety measures you adopt while being in the laboratory so even that will be taught to you and all this will help you to gauge the subject's depth and get the expertise required when you go in the outer world when we come to the next semester the skill enhancement course offered to you will be introduction to clinical microbiology and techniques related to that this course will give you an idea about a variety of organisms which we handle how they show their antibiotic sensitivity or resistance those kind of techniques will be taught most of these techniques are carried out in pathological laboratories and we want to imbibe this particular skill to you besides this you must have heard of pathology labs in pathology labs we go for blood grouping we go for rh factor determination or various types of counts related to blood cells etc so all these hematological experiments will also be covered by us under this course and that's why you will get a skill where you can work in a pathology lab after first year of microbiology various media which we use in our microbiological experiments they are manufactured by a variety of companies but one needs to determine the quality control of this microbiological media and that also will be taught to you by us because once you are a microbiologist you may get jobs in the qa qc departments of various companies that's all i want to say for the scs offered by the department of microbiology uh, who is eligible for these courses the students who are taking up microbiology as either major or minor subject they can choose these skill enhancement courses offered by the department of microbiology hope to see you in our department and wish you all the best for your first year bsc program hello students i am mahesh shetty from physics department introducing here skill enhancement courses offered by physics department in the first semester the skill enhancement course is basic measurements and calculations the course can be done by physics students who are taking physics as major or minor subject what are we going to teach in this physics being mainly an empirical science it means experiments become an essential part of physics this course is completely laboratory oriented the measurement of physical quantity is an important skill and various quantities physical quantities you will, will be learning how to measure using various different instruments you learn how to handle various uncertainties involved or the errors involved in the measurement you will learn what are the different kind of sources of uncertainties or the errors and also you will be learning the difference between accurate and precision of measurements you will do data analysis numerically as well as graphical and with these skills we expect you to do physics better and become better employable in the second semester we are going to teach about mathematical methods maths is a language of physics mathematical techniques are the tools used in theoretical physics so you are going to learn mathematics needed to do physics major the, that will involves the calculus of multiple variables vector analysis the course is designed to enhance your problem solving skill 
and this will enable you to build mathematical models for physical situations. See you soon. Warm welcome from Department of Zoology. I am Dr. Sushant Mane, head of the Department of Zoology. Let's discuss about the skill enhancement course for first year zoology. In semester one, the introduction to aquarium setting is the course given by the department. The course is comprises of understanding of the fish uh, keeping. It also gives you various types of aquariums and different equipments used for the setting of the aquarium ponds. Learners will also get, uh, get familiar with the aquarium plants, preparation of uh, costing and a visibility report of the aquarium setup. The syllabus of this uh, course is in short given here. Some of the important practicals are identification of aquarium accessories, study of different aquarium plants, identification of freshwater ornamental fish, construction of glass tanks, setting up of freshwater aquarium and decoration of aquariums. The major outcome or benefits expected out of this, learners will get the knowledge about the basic structure and instrument used for the construction of aquarium ponds, understanding the aquarium maintenance. It will also give you the methodological knowledge about using of water filters, substrate, fish feeds and tank decoratives. Learners will be able to analyze different parameters of aquarium water. Learners will be able to select the aquarium plants and ornamental fishes for the setting up of aquarium. In semester 2, the topic is given as introduction to breeding and handling of ornamental fishes. This also includes the comprehensive knowledge about the breeding of the fishes, types of fish diseases and its treatment. Learners will acquire the knowledge about the preparation of feeds for the brooders, larvae and young ones. This course will give you the knowledge about the packaging and transportation of the fish for the different places. Some of the important practicals included here, primary and secondary characteristics of the breeding fish, maintenance of breeding tank, spawning of uh, different types of uh, fishes, fish disease diagnosis and its treatment, Practical steps in sanitization of aquarium tank, packaging of aquarium fishes. Expected benefit of the courses are breeding techniques in ornamental fishes, scientific knowledge of different aquarium and ornamental fish diseases, estimations of aquarium fish tank or water parameters, acquiring skills of preparation of fish feed and packaging and handling of aquarium fish. Thank you.